Hello, and welcome to the show. Welcome to Madness. Yes, this is what happens when you try to make a track using one prop, and that prop is a blimp. You get this. Yes, this is a track entirely made out of blimps, basically, that we are going to go racing around. Now, there are some downside to blimps, really, as a racing uh, prop. They have a very funky hitbox, so they're probably going to do silly things a little bit here. Um, we have we found an orange blimp to park on. Oh, wait, someone's gone. Ewan. Ewan. <laughs> the normal cheater isn't here for this particular session, so I guess someone else is taking up the mantle of cheating and doing a jump start. But sorry for poor Liam, who was stuck further back, who was actually just still sat on the grid uh, for this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's actually quite a fun little layout of circuit, and it is well enough marked uh, for, you know, we can figure out where we got to go around the blimps. It's just, it looks... Uh, yeah. It looks quite something. And occasionally hitboxes are funky. Basically, that's how it's gonna, how it's gonna go. Oh, let's get it. I mean, we've got, like, the lovely Skittles bag of, uh, of cars going on, colour-wise, and then we've got the lovely Skittles bag of track. You're quite good overall, really. Uh, can we... Do we bump draft with the Dynasty? No. Nope. Well, important to be fair, probably sensible. <laughs> Just gotta move over, not worry about the bump draft perhaps going on. Uh, we will get past then. I got a little bit of space on the outside. We've got to wait and see how well Stinty murders Ewan uh, for cheating. Yeah, pretty well. <laughs> you know what? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 anti-cheat mechanism has been achieved. Stinty didn't need anybody else to help. That was just single, single-mindedness has ended up in firing Ewan off the circuit. I'm amazed that got stopped for the corner as well. Oh, dear. Yeah, that works. You, you don't jump the start. Well, if you do jump the start, you get fired off the track, is basically the guarantee. One of the many fail race guarantees. Jump the start, you will get launched off the circuit. Oh, three wide, and these are a bit sketchy. I should say these are not fast vehicles at, at all. They're really not very quick. Uh, but that doesn't mean the racing isn't fun. We've said many times before, another, you know, fairly solid fail race rule is the sillier the vehicle, the better the racing. And in this case, Okay, well, I say these, these are not necessarily, oh, the silliest of cars, but they're not your normal racing vehicle. They are not fast. However, that doesn't mean you can't have some really good fun racing. I've got no slipstream over here. Come on, get a little bit of draft. of You see, nine tails now can't really move over, although you can still get... You don't have to be dead behind the car to get a draft, basically. You can still just kind of nick a slight bit of draft from the little corners. Um, so, yeah, you can't quite completely block somebody out of a draft. Uh, I say it's a bit of a shame. Well, I mean, it depends on. In that instance, it was because I couldn't quite uh, cheese my way past, well, easily cheese my way past Nine Tails. We stayed ahead, regardless, as we come out the other side. You know, we've got the top four. We've got a little bit of a gap back. Um, nothing ridiculous at the moment. Oh, I'll just let Scotty go through there. I'm not even going to bother. There's, there's no point in fighting that. Scotty might actually get to the inside here. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, it feels so slow. It feels so slow getting, like, changed direction. It's just what they are. I'm so used to, like, even some of the slower cars we've raced recently, it's just, these are extra super, su super, super slow. Don't even get that bigger a slipstream pull with them. Oh, come on. Oh, well, yeah, the bump helped, actually. Bump kind of got me around the corner. I don't know what's going on over the background there. <laughs> I think there was some cars got connected, or possibly lag connected, because both of them pinged off the track. This one's going to the inside there. Oh, now you can do that. What you find at that corner, the outside can actually be a little bit faster uh, because that inside line is such a narrow line, although we might get a push uh, from behind to get past. We're still alongside. I've got to be careful, though. I don't want to hit the blimp because you can roll very easily. Liam has joined in the fun uh, with this particular group of cars as they go three wide. Part. I think there's a plane somewhere in one. Oh, there is the plane. I, I thought there's a plane around one of these corners somewhere. Yes. The only, I guess, kind of technically non-blimp related... Oh, the hitbox got me! I'm really sorry, everyone! <laughs> uh, amazingly, like, no real massive harm was done there. We've let the whole other pack catch up, I guess, which was the biggest harm. There was a gap. I went through it. I just... I forgot momentarily. I, we, well, you see, we warmed everyone. I, I was one that remembered to warn everybody that the hitbox of the blimps are funny, and I still forgot myself. Um, yeah, 
Some, like, sometimes it almost feels like the hitboxes are okay, and then other times that happens when we were clearly not, didn't hit it, and we still got into trouble. Oh, we still got a draft on, on Gliska down here. I'm going to have to back out of that because I'm going to run out of road for three cars. Like, three cars just don't fit through that first corner. It's too narrow. It's too narrow, and even for these... I say it's too quick. That's probably the wrong word. But in, in terms of... We're not really on the brakes at any point. Uh, you're kind of close to the limit of grip. It's, as, it, it's quick for this car, in relative speaking terms. So, yeah, it's, just, it's not worth it. Um, it was the final quarter or the final lap. Maybe we'd, well, we'd, we would try, but it's not. We're on lap three. This is, this is a shorter race because these are so bloody slow. Uh, <laughs> around the hangar hairpin we go. I actually got a good exit, but nowhere to go with it, really. There's a bloody... Well, I don't even know what it is uh, down there. <laughs> There's a gap. <laughs> Chris is going to pass all of us down here because no one's got any slipstream. Yep. This goes to the outside. We're almost four wide. We are three wide through the hairpin itself. I'm going to get no momentum on the exit there. Uh, we'll give Ninetales a push because I've got nothing else to do. Um, I, I got a tiny little bit of a run, but I didn't have anything I could do with it, so I'll just push nine tails. Stinty has caught up. I don't know what happened to Liam, actually, in all of this. I think something might have gone on at turn one or two. I don't know. There's gaps formed again as we have a five-car breakaway, really, at the front. Uh, I'm not going to find anywhere to get past at the moment. I mean, at like this corner up here, it's almost better off just taking a normal line. Nine tails tried to pass for the lead. It's actually going to end up in about fourth, maybe even fifth, if Stinty gets a good run. Yeah, Stinty's to the inside, because that's just that tight line got absolutely no speed on. We've got a lot of momentum going on on the outside here, which is nice. Uh, Ninetales is going to maybe almost push Scotty. There might be some teamwork. Again, this might be one where teamwork is required by the end. I say required, where you're ending up in a situation where you have nothing uh, else to do. You can't get out of... You can't you know, pull out past a car, so you might have to push somebody to the finish line. Here, actually, probably not as much by virtue of... It's a very wide start finish line. The track does get narrow in places. But he's a very wide start finish line. You know, for a track built entirely out of blimps, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a pretty good... Oh, we've got more cars joined. Crow is joined as well as we come across the start finish line. This is absolutely ridiculous. Crow... Oh, Crow's technically in the wrong car. So there are two vehicles available. Oh, I thought I was ahead of everyone, and I wasn't. No. Uh, there's a Volvo in the dynasty, and we said not to drive the Volvo because the Volvo is horrific. Um, the reason why we said not to drive the Volvo is that... The Volvo, if you lightly breathe on it, it spins. The hitbox is bigger than the car, so they make contact with each other really easily. And if you hit, basically hit it anywhere, or if, it, if it's crossed your mind that your car might bump into someone else's Volvo, that Volvo will probably spin or have a half, like a lazy half spin. They're just not very fun to drive. They are slightly faster than the Dynasty, but they are just horrific things to actually race. So, yeah. Surprise hasn't ended up upside down more to be all spun more, if I'm honest. We're ninth after that, unfortunately. Yeah, that was just everyone was going into that corner. And I, I thought I was clear of the cars behind, and I wasn't. And sadly, that crow has actually pulled over on the final lap to uh, let the dynasty battle go past. Oh, Scotty and Stinty got... I think that's the second time now Stinty's got connected with another car at that section, and they got carted off wide. This time, Scotty coming off worse. Uh, I was, oh, can I go around the outside of the blue car? Yes, I can. See, well, we've got loads and loads of slipstream. The thing that we're going to run into is just a lack of space just difficult to overtake here, and we've also got to be careful, because now Stinty's behind. Stinty's also looking for a way past. Uh, Scotty has, I think it's Scotty, or Longbow has got three of their blimp demise. The leader has just got such a gap. Ninetales has just got a massive lead at the moment. Now, that might change. Oh, I want to have a go at the inside there, but we're going to run out of space. Oh, everyone's gone wide. That was a... That was a classic front end, like front quarter connected to rear quarter, and everyone went straight into the wall. It's been a disastrous end for a large number of vehicles there. We have got a good place for slipstream. Are we close enough to get nine tails to the finish line? I don't think so. We might not even be close enough to get Liam, to be honest, because it's such a short run to the finish line here. I think nine tails is going to win it, indeed. Nine tails will win. Liam gets second. We recover to third. It was a bit of a messy final lap, but we recover to third in the end. Yeah. Some uh, cars got connected. It was a bad time had by uh, a few vehicles. Oopsie. It's not Biomance Press. Uh, and there we go. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> the Volvo was the quickest lap. In fact, the Volvo was miles quicker than the rest of us. Ah. All went wrong on the final lap. A little bit. 
Good fun, as I said, good fun up until there. For a track built with blimps, pretty, pretty damn entertaining racing. So, for our second run around the blimply circuit, we got something quite a lot faster. This is the Tempesta, I believe, kind of Lamborghini, Hurricane, sort of a uh, Lamborghini thing. Very much quicker, very much quicker indeed, the <laughs> Dynasty. A lot more grip as well to go with it. Uh, mistakes. We probably should have done this the other way around, perhaps. I don't know, we've now suddenly gone to a lot of grip all of a sudden. Oh, we're going to try and duck underneath. Now that line there is great if I'm racing just the cars ahead of me. You've got to remember there might have been cars. There wasn't, thankfully, cars alongside or anything. Oh, they're asking for trouble there. I just want to go... Oh, well, I want to get a cut back here, but we're now going to be stuck on the outside. And hangar. You're just trying to make anything work. I think we've got past Crow. I don't quite know where they've... They actually had a really slow corner. Just a bit too much. Just so much going on with these cars. And the, the closing speeds are now quite a lot different with this than they were in that previous one. Uh, you've got to be, you've got to kind of remember that you've suddenly got these crazy big closing speeds. Uh, we're going to defend down here, kind of as best we can. I think that might be my favourite corner on this track. I always, that's I always, you know, this has some very good tracks, and there's always like one particular corner that I like, especially. It's always, no, well, it's normally the slightly weird corner, and that one is kind of the slightly weird corner on this track. There's kind of a, different, a few different ways through, and I like that you can make it work. I like, I like that you can get a lot of speed on the outside through there. It means you can get some really spectacular overtakes going on. This is definitely the nastiest corner on the track. Everyone ends up out wide. I mean, I, I tried to not run Stinty out too wide. I mean, there's a little bit of a bump halfway through the corner, but yeah. You've got to be a smidge careful. That blimp there, in fact, thank you to someone. I think it was Scotty. I was literally just about to say, the blimp there in the supercars are really easy to launch your vehicle over if you are too greedy with the, uh, well, basically with the hitbox. And Scotty then a green vehicle proved it. <laughs> oh, it's just yeah. <laughs> but me and Stinzy have not had a good start. Stinzy got in trouble through there. Just the tiniest of tags was all it took. That's Scotty's. Scotty was upside down. <laughs> he found that was a pretty good recovery. Yeah. I, oh, Twisty's pinged off a blimp on the way through there. Danger Man's made a mistake in the hangar. We've all driven into that one. Oh no. <laughs> It's all gone wrong. It's all gone horrifically wrong with the supercars. We were better off in slow cars. No, I was going to say, let's go back to the dynasty, and then, I, no, not even, not even I can say that. I think I would rather drive this. Oh, even in a slightly scruffy race. No, no, I say that. The dynasty was fun. When you've got a field of them together, when everyone's in the same boatly slow car, it is good fun. Jeez, these have got so much grip through there. That's a lot of speed we're going to take, and I think we're going to get that pass completed as well. Uh, which is good. Now, it's kind of in our best interest. Like, if you are on your own around this circuit, or if you've got two cars working together, the speed you can... the lap speed you can make. Just when you're in battles, it goes wrong, and me and Ninetales have done a goofy thing. Oh, we exploded on a blimp. You know what? I got carried away with the speed. I did get carried away there. Yep, this is a true fact. Far too carried away with the amounts of speed I could take through that corner. <laughs> See, I saw Ninetales go. I saw Ninetales understeer a lot earlier in the corner. And I thought that was going to be fine. Like, I thought it was going to be fine for me to take the speed that I did, and it was fine for the part that Ninetales understeered off into the wall. Problem is, I found a different bit to understeer off into. <laughs> and, well, we might have died a smidge. We might have died a smidge. We were half. We're not even a half distance yet, though. So maybe there's a chance still. It'd be a hell of a comeback if we got this one to uh, to work. Oh. Just seeing, but I was just seeing a million problems at once. My brain wasn't even trying to figure out how to do words. It was just, how the hell am I going to negotiate them three cars all having issues? Can I make a way past them three cars while they're all having issues? The answer was not really. Uh, we might be able to get underneath here if we can get in the slipstream of Scotty. Maybe. But even if we get in the slipstream of Scotty, it's not going to do us all that much good. We might just be stuck battling back here. I'm trying to get his. Whoop! A little bit of... Th the Scotty has not had any luck at that corner. Well, I was saying about that uh, blue blimp corner catching everyone out. Scotty's uh, Scotty's least favourite corner on this track is going to be a very different one, I can tell you that much. Really hoping Ewan doesn't want to have a go at the inside through there. Uh, we're trying to make the most of that little bit of clean air and get back into the fight if we can. Now, last lap around, I learnt my lesson. I did. <laughs> See? 
We learned our lesson. We didn't go flying. We didn't explode. See, last lap around, we were ahead of Gliscar and exploded. This lap around, we're directly behind again. We've had a good... I say we've had a good time. We've just been running in clean air. Clean air, catch up in the slipstream, means that you actually do stand a chance. If anything, this is caught up way quicker than I thought. I thought it was going to take us a couple of laps. I'd hoped we could get back into the fight, but... I think there's been so much squabbling going on, like, between cars, that's really helped us as well. As I said, you're running clean air around, especially this track, more than some, I think. Uh, you can make up so much time when you're not having to lift and brake for other cars, because it is a very quick circuit. It doesn't necessarily look it, but it is a very quick, very nice flowing circuit when you're on your own. <laughs> Just you're not on your own very often in one of these races. Ooh! <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, that's 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 basically gone for a while. God, bloody blimps! Like at least, like my death on the blimp was not really like a wonky hitbox. My death on a blimp was I just ran wide. Uh, oh, I very nearly nailed the side of Crow's car there. Yeah, I ran wide and I used a blimp as a ramp, as expected, really. Uh, some of these deaths have been much more unfortunate. Uh, with you think you're fine and you should be clear of them as well, but nope. That is the downside of the wobbly blimp prop. I say the what? It's only I say it's only It's not supposed to be used for. It's being used for here. Let's be honest. Now that is the best way to play a video game, but it does have some side effects, shall we say? And that side effect is occasionally wobbly crashes. Uh, how the hell have we got four cars? We've got like a mega quadruple cutback going on there between me and Scotty, uh, me, Scotty, and everybody. Really, something went on on the outside, and we got bounced around a smidge. Don't even know what happened to Scotty's car. I hope it's still in the pack. Doesn't look like it did, unfortunately. Uh, we're like three wide and I was just, yeah, stuck on the outside. Go! Go! <laughs> it's like, I don't want to make it three wide into here. Oh, well, they basically did want to make it three wide. It's definitely a good thing I didn't, because I would have been four wide. And we still came out the other side in second. And that's just, yeah, <laughs> just a little bit of, that little bit of caution. That little bit of wait your turn. And it has done the trick. We might even get ourselves up to the lead here. So from exploded two laps ago, we will now take the lead of the race. We're not going to hold it for long because someone's going to fire up the inside. I'm just going to give it an acre of space because it's not worth... It's not worth spinning my car across somebody's nose there. All right. What have we got? Well, one more lap after this. Okay. We don't have to fight to the death just yet. As I say that, we get, we get pinballed around. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, Liam, I don't think you had to wait. I think that was as much my fault as anything. Uh, we're just so many cars in one place. God damn it, it worked all the way back up, and then we've beamed it. I don't think Longbow quite realised I was spun. Stinty's going to have a crash. No, oh, Stinty's going to have a crash that affects me. Still having a crash that's affecting me. <laughs> just Stinty, Stinty couldn't stop having a crash at that particular moment in time. <laughs> Sadly for me... Oh, that's a very quick corner to have a stuck car on. Crow's backwards up a blimp as well. It's got a little bit scruffy. I think these cars are a little fast around here. Um, just to, they're, they're, they're super quick and the blimps are super inconsistent and you put those two together and it gets really, really dangerous. Fun! I mean, I'm hopefully spectacular for you, the audience, at the end of the day. Uh, I kind of I enjoy driving the cars around here immensely because they are very, very quick, very good fun. have crazy levels of grip for these sort of manoeuvres. Oh, if you get the overtakes right, they're amazing. It's incredibly spectacular. Oh, I got hitboxed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that's that's how this day is going to go, I think. Oh, this race has fallen apart. Ewan's gone very wide there. Oh, you, I thought Ewan was, un I thought Ewan was well gone, actually. I didn't even realise that car's ever going to get itself back on the circuit, let alone back in kind of alongside me. Well, we're not going to win. I can tell you that much. We're definitely not winning. We're not winning this race bar an absolutely ridiculous turn of events going on up ahead. And the field is all very, very close. Let's never count out an absolutely ridiculous turn of events going on. Oh, we th oh, we threw up the inside and, yeah, we just got the cars connected. It's, it's all gone horrifically wrong at the end. Oh, and after such a good comeback as well from an exploded car, it has not gone our way. It's not gone our way at all. The bump with Liam just started this downward spiral that, uh, sadly, we have not managed to recover from. Oh, I just... I got the turn kind of right. I just lost a bit too much speed through there. Let me just slip the back end a smidge. The field is still mega bunched up. There's chances there might be a mess towards the end of this race. There's still a couple of quarters to go, but it's not going to be enough 
I don't think. It'd have to be ridiculous levels of shenanigans for me to somehow cheese a victory here or anything other than a ninth place, really. Because everyone's getting slipstream off one another. They are all very, very slow through there. Oh, I just kept my foot down. It was the <laughs> That was very much a case of I don't even care what's going on. I'm just going to keep my foot down through that point. Ah, it all, went, it all fell apart. It all went wrong at the end. Unfortunately, it was utter carnage. Brilliant, ridiculous, silly carnage. Um, however, <laughs> it was a spectacular race in one way or another. So, if you've ever wondered what a track entirely made out of blimps might be like, now you have your answer. Now, now you have your answer. Liam managed to win despite everything going wrong on that sort of... Yeah. <laughs> there we have it. There we have it. Mad times. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Opone for building this wacky circuit. Shall be it for today, though. Until next time, a goodbye.